it's a very strange time that we live in. I am one of the few people talking about the R word, recession. There are many people who feel it will not happen. There are many people who feel that we're just going to keep going the way that we're going. Even though Donald's tariffs are costing people their jobs and businesses right now. If you want to be a millionaire, you want to have a good life, check out this video. I mean, state of the economy. Right now, unemployment is low. Not all time low is ticked up. The stock market's roaring. Yet, thousands and thousands of people are losing their jobs every day. We have stores. You know what's funny? I saw this report that retail is not dead. Yes, I know that these other stores are moving into the stores that Toys R Us are vacating, right? Well, some of the stores that are moving into the vacating Toys R Us stores are also closing stores. It's been a while since I did a driving video on this channel and I thought I'd bring them back. This will be off the top of the dome. This will be very crazy. Now, if you want to be a millionaire during the next recession, these are some of the things you need to do. Number one, get out of debt. I, I've had people who's like, hey, you know, I can have a lot of debt, student loan debt, credit card debt, car payments and all this other stuff. And I can also scale the economic ranks of being a millionaire. I've seen people do it. I've seen people talk about it and therefore I can do it. I'm gonna tell you, the people who have a lot of debt and managed to make it to a millionaire status were either A, lucky as fuck, B, criminal, C, exceptionally talented. So if, unless you're gonna fit in one of those dynamics, good luck. Now, a big part of making money Becoming a millionaire is serving a lot of people. The more people that you serve, the more money that you make. I have a lot of digital employees, and I, I will expand on this. My goal is, by the end of this year, to have about 50 digital, no, let's say 75 digital employees. If you want to make money in these times you're going to have to execute i will have people in here saying well what about investing in stock market if you're one c talented knock yourself out if you are a or b um, you could have some problems this is one of the things i think that's so hard for people to understand about making money it's not easy there are many people who will tell you it's easy uh, there were many people who like, look, if you're working hard, then uh, you're really not doing it the correct way. There are people who are leveraging online platforms. There are people who are leveraging a lot of different things. But one of the stats that many of these folks fail to mention is they've gone through the bullshit. And the bullshit is beginning. Everyone, and I was having this conversation with a client starting a new channel 14 videos not a lot of views I said everyone goes through this it's like but I want to be like so and so now that I just went through about five channels and I was like look see beginning first six months they didn't really get a lot of views first six months but so many people want to be classy right now and just don't want to do the work just do not want to put forth the effort because they're looking for guarantees. If you're looking for guarantees, you will never, ever be rich. Let me say that again. If you're looking for guarantees, you'll never, ever be rich. You might be comfortable. You may have a good job because the path to becoming a millionaire is full of risk. It is full of heartbreak. It is full of things going wrong. It is full of things that just will blow your mind. You will think you've got it all set up. You think you're about to walk out with a nice check. And then there was one little mistake. One of the biggest deals I did selling office furniture it was a $300,000 deal. I had a $120,000 profit. I was so happy. I was so set up. Well, once I ordered the furniture, 
and I realized that I had made an eighty-five fucking thousand dollar mistake. Customers had paid me; they had paid me half, so I had to sell some more stuff to get money to fix that problem, so they would pay me the rest of the money. That was an, incruc an excruciating three months. This is what happens when you build businesses. A lot of folks won't tell you this because for some reason, and on this channel, I have shown you how many people are actually rich in this country. I have put it out, I have did the charts, I've showed you the stats, but there's some reason that many of you feel that you're gonna be extremely wealthy with little to no effort. Making a million dollars is hard. To get into the 9.9% is challenging. To get into the top 0.5%, aka the 1%, even though it's not really the 1%, is fucking hard. You got a net worth of five or $10 million? I guarantee you, you went through some bullshit. I guarantee you, you had some ups and downs. I guarantee it that no one other than the children who inherit this money have it easy. That's a good way to get a lot of money real easy. Just be born in the right family. Paris Hilton, uh, the Trumps, uh, the Coke kids. Hey, you, you, you won the genetic lottery on that one. But for the rest of us, applying ourselves is a challenge. Uh, right now, I'm going through some challenges. I have six channels, and everyone is talking to me. It's like, look, just focus on one channel. And you know what? I did that, and it went bad because of the way that YouTube went. Um, like, just go to the front of the channel and subscribe to all of them. And, you know, in about two to three weeks, once I go through this rough period of adjustment, setting stuff up, setting my schedule up, setting... I'll start to produce more and more content. And what I'm going through and what you can see me do is build something from scratch. This is what you're going to have to do if you want to make real money. And I'm going to explain it to you. When you build something from scratch without no guarantees, the upside potential is fantastic. Storage auction business. Nobody was talking about it. When I came on the YouTube, there was like 36 YouTubers talking about resale. Now there's thousands. Everyone that does eBay halfway successfully or Amazon halfway successfully, they got a channel. I actually saw one channel that has discovered the power of live streaming. Dude put up a video and got like 3.5 million hits in the two weeks as a reseller. Now this, this is, is interesting because he's doing storage auctions, which I knew would work, but I just got addicted to this digital money. Now, part of the problem with moderate success, and I will break that down, moderate success is you doing two to three times what you were doing on your job. You feel like the man, you feel like the woman, life is good, you got more money than you ever had before, now you're going to become a teacher. Now you're going to put together an Amazon FBA course, now you're going to put together an eBay course, now you're going to put together some stuff, and what's happened is that market is mature. Now, people will continue to make money in that market for years to come. Just because it's mature doesn't mean there's no money in there. Uh, someone's going to come up with a new whiz bank FBA program probably next year and they're going to make two or three million dollars from it Because the market's mature and maturity means that most people know what it is Most people believe like oh, okay. I can start an Amazon FBA business and make some money now, here's the rub the fantastic opportunities are over and the fantastic opportunities is like uh, will the dude Chris Green he wrote, he's kind of like the father of retail arbitrage. Uh, when he got in, there was nobody in there. I mean, he had the market to himself. And I'm quite sure if, you know, and Chris isn't the type of guy to tell you how much money he's making, but I would not be surprised if he had a net worth of 10 to maybe 15 million bucks. Wouldn't be surprised at all. Wouldn't shock me. Now, those type of opportunities you get when you get on the ground floor. Those are the opportunities when you literally grade the economic land. 
I you never heard that term before. Well, when a builder or a developer buys a piece of raw land, someone's got to grade it and develop it and put the sewer systems in, build the roads, uh, do all this permitting stuff with the county, and essentially build something from absolutely nothing. That is what you got to do to make killer money, killer games. Now, there will be people who will disagree with me, and these will be the same people who have $100,000, $200,000 worth of student loan debt, $30,000, $50,000 worth of credit card debt, who somehow think that they can become a millionaire while having all of this debt and making the minimum payments while they're stressed out on these minimum payments, and then also build a high-velocity, high-money business at the same time. It ain't going to work, but once again, they're going to disagree with me because they need to disagree with me. They need to feel that, you know, building something like this is doable and possible. They need it. They got to have it because without it, there's no hope. And if there's no hope, well, you know, you might as well just kill yourself. So I understand why they lie to themselves, but they can't lie to me and they can't lie to you because the truth of the matter is durability. I've been on YouTube nine years. You hate me, don't hate me, like me, don't like me. That is a testament to what I do. And I've got longevity. I plan on being on YouTube another two, another decade. I will be, oh my God, I'll be 60 then. Yeah, I'll still be here making videos, but the video game that I'm going to do is going to have to change. I have to literally almost kind of sort of start over. But once you have certain skill sets, there is no such thing as starting over. You're stacking up ability, potential, and opportunity. Now, how's that for some math? Stacking up ability, opportunity, and, hold on. I have to air it out a little bit. All right. That's what it takes. <clears throat> but so many people don't want to do the work. Now, back to this recession stuff. We're going to have a recession. And it's going to be harsh. And it's going to be very, very ugly. But at the same time, we're going to have a group of people who are doing economically amazing during this recession. And this is what creates this hope and this desire. But if you were to go meet these people, you would see that they have something extra that you don't. It may be talent. It may be a rich father or mother. It might be the hookup. It might be that they're in the perfect situation. So trying to copy somebody who's doing well when you don't know why they're doing well, well, pretty much ends up being nothing. Pretty much ends up not doing what you wanted to do. And this is a huge, huge situation. If you want to be a millionaire during the next recession, do this. Go in a quiet room, sit down, and ask the universe, what do you want? Say, all right, universe, I want this type of lifestyle. Sit in that room and figure it out because one of the things that I love the movie The Italian Job where this guy was stealing everybody's ideals because he was not imaginative enough to come up with his own and think about what do you want do you want some raw land and move on the farm do you want to grow pumpkins uh, do you want to live in a big city in a penthouse what do you want that is the linchpin that is the beginning that is the architect of everything else that you will have. When I wrote my first book, I didn't want much. 50,000 bucks a year, write the novel, and have a lot of free time. Done. It's a done deal. Now, I had to sit down in that quiet room like I'm telling you, and like, all right, what do I want now? Well, now I want a $2.2 million modern home. Okay, what do I have to do to get it? Do I continue consulting and burn myself out? Or do I actually take a hit 
and income and go the long way and start creating more digital employees. I chose to create the digital employees. I have 28 months, let see. I did this challenge to myself. <clears throat> it was a public challenge. Uh, 36 months to get to the $2.2 million house. And so it is July, so we got August, September, October. I've got, yeah, 27, 28 months. Now, right now, and once again, many people ask me for the ultimate game, and I just gave you the ultimate game. Everything starts off with the dream. Everything starts off with the big want. Everything starts off with the big ask. But many people don't want to ask for something big. They want to ask for pennies. They want to ask for the lowest of the low. They want to ask for what is obtainable. They want to ask for what fits into their current paradigm of work and hope and dreams. They don't want to ask the big ask. It's on YouTube, the video, $2.2 million modern house. That's what I'm going for. And how do I get it? Well, I got to make $12 million a year because it doesn't make sense to make $3 million a year than just spend this on the house. So I got to make 20 years. And this is one of the things for you to get the things that you want, you have to overachieve. And like now, I got a lot of people that I am going, I reboot, rebuke thee, who are like, slow down, chill down. Because you know why? They see me not just leaving them, but they see my dust because I'm executing every day. And if you ain't executing every day, you're not going to get where you want to go fast. You may eventually get there 10, 20, 30 years from now. But if you're not executing hard every day, you're not going to get where you want to go within two to three years. I have never made $12 million in a year in my life. I've made a few million. And I hear that once you make a few million, that you can make 12. But uh, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be easy. I really don't think it's gonna be easy. And I'm preparing myself for the bullshit. I'm preparing myself for the hardships. But once again, the ultimate game, and like uh, someone uh, left a comment on uh, one of my disrupted male streams talking about, fellas, I gotta be honest, that what's in the course is what I'm subconsciously doing, uh, unconsciously doing with women. Now, here's the rub with this, and I want you, or anyone who's thinking about taking my courses, you got to do the work. So, let's take unconsciously. Unconsciously means you're not really doing anything. Now, this is one of the foundational methods of talk dirty to me. It's called writing up your dream girl. And I know a lot of people who have taken the course have not done that step because the dream girl is the big ask. That's the big ask. And if you don't do that, it's like a trigonometry problem where you know you get the first products wrong so the final solution is going to be wrong regardless of what you do, regardless of how hard you work because you didn't do it right in the first place. I'm giving you game. I am giving you game. The big ask. Because when you put something that's because when I put up that video of the $2.2 million house, I had a lot of people like, don't do this. I had a lot of people like, build it. Uh, all these folks were saying, do it cheaply. I had all these folks who were saying how to do it on the cheap, how not to spend the $2.2 million. I want to spend the $2.2 million because that means that I've made $12 million. I want to. I want to pay more taxes because that means I'm making more money. I want to, but everyone is moderating their ask to bullshit low expectation circumstances. They're not asking and executing on a higher level. You must execute on a higher level. Jay Morrison, a lot of people are talking trash about the dude. I don't know if it's going to work. I can't say good or bad, but I know that that dude has raised $12 million. He asked for a lot of money and he got it. He had the big ask. Once again, you gotta ask for big stuff. So if you're taking talk dirty to me, 
I want you today to sit your ass down and write up about your dream girl because that's going to formulate how well you do in the rest of the course. And I know this guy, and oh yeah, the course isn't done. Right now, I'm just putting in, I'm bringing y'all along slowly because I know that if I give you too much, because the average human can only deal with 10% change per year, uh, 15, maybe 20%, they freaking out. 30%, 40%, they may commit suicide because it's just too much change for the average person to deal with. But see, I am bringing you along. And uh, Von B, I hope you're watching because I checked in the dashboard, you haven't done all the lessons. I'm calling you out, player. You haven't done all the lessons, but you like, fellas, I gotta be honest. Fellas, I gotta be honest. Von B hadn't done all the course. Fellas, Von B is half-stepping. Von B is half ass. he's half-assing it, yet he's giving reviews. And this is something that really, really drives me crazy. I had people give reviews about my book and they didn't buy it nor read it. That's kind of what you're doing, Von B, kind of. So once again, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not going to blow bullshit up your ass. If you want to have a better life, you need to work. You need to apply yourself. You need to get off your ass and start doing. One of the things, and this, this is just, it drives me crazy, is I will give good advice for free and people still will not take advantage. But if I charge you a lot of money, then all of a sudden, the more I charge, the more people do what I say. And this is for you people who want to be coaches, uh, consultants, and you, you're trying to do 25, 30 bucks an hour, you're going to get bullshit clients. You're doing 50 bucks an hour, you're going to get bullshit clients. I guarantee it. You start charging 300, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 dollars per hour, you're going to get some amazing clients. You're going to get them. So that's kind of it. I mean, right now, I'm setting myself up to make a lot of money during this recession. Now, there's a lot of people who want to do exactly what I'm doing as some type of shortcut. That may work for some people and may not work for some people because unless you walk the path that I've walked in life, you're not gonna have all the experiences. You're not gonna have all the nuances. You're not, it's just not gonna be there. So I, I will just break that to you. But for those of you who are ready to pull out some fabric, build your own capes, fasten it on and become your own superhero, I got this for you. Execute every day. Execute when you are tired. Execute when people say, why are you working so hard? You know, Glendon, and I'm gonna do this video on disruptive male, like business owners and when you, you got women in your life, a woman will try to take you off your grind so quick, it ain't real. They will like, oh, you, well, you got enough. No, I don't, that's my decision to make, not your decision. Well, you know, you, you don't have any debt. So what, what does that mean, what's that have to do with my business? I'm trying to get as much as I can. It's a mindset. So go out and get yours. Be sure to get your free audio book. If you need help with game, be sure to get Talk Dirty to me. I guarantee you it's going to change your life. All links are below. Take the road, sister, sing Imagine all the words becoming real Together we'll be free It's not just you and me
вечно.